John Chapman, better known as the legendary Johnny Appleseed. It's a name that rings through the ages. His tale is one of a wandering nomad, a skilled orchardist, and a man of faith, all wrapped into one. His story begins in Massachusetts on September 26th, 1774, the day he was born into a family of 10 children. His father, being a Revolutionary War Minuteman, who served under General George Washington. Elizabeth, John's mother, died shortly after the Declaration of Independence was signed, leaving Nathaniel Chapman, John's father, to raise the family. John and his half-brother Nathaniel Jr. were wanderers who lived off the land and performed odd jobs. The family later established a farm in Ohio in 1805, where John would leave to work as an apprentice or an orchardist named Crawford, and the legend of Johnny Appleseed would begin. Johnny's love of travel and his skills as an apple orchardist drove him to scour the young United States for opportunities to establish nurseries of apple trees and sell his services to landowners interested in planting orchards, slowly making his way westward. His clients will be shown how to start an orchard and how to keep deer and livestock at bay before he would move on to the next interested client. Despite the legend that depicts Johnny Appleseed as a barefoot vagrant wandering all over the landscape sowing apple seeds at random, it's more likely that he was an eccentric but skilled professional who established apple tree nurseries and sold his services. He would live humbly on the bare ground if he had to stay somewhere for an extended period of time with only the clothes on his back, a bowl and a spoon, and a cooking pot for his gruel. Chapman would allegedly charge his clients based on their ability to pay, with richer landowners willing to pay cash for young apple trees, while less economically endowed settlers might accept used clothing or food. Later in his nomadic life, Johnny began to incorporate the gospel and followed the Swedenborgian religion founded by Emanuel Swedenborg. Locals flocked to hear Chapman speak because he was a dynamic speaker. This could have been an additional source of income for him while he was traveling. But it's clear that he was a devout Christian who thought that traveling across the country, preaching and planting orchards would ultimately get him to heaven. Johnny Appleseed passed away March 18, 1845, at the age of 70 and a half years old from pneumonia. He was buried near Fort Wayne, Indiana. National Johnny Appleseed Day is celebrated twice a year, once on his birthday, September 26th, and also on March 11th, National Johnny Appleseed Day. And some people wonder why it's celebrated twice a year. Part of it's because of the anniversary of his passing, and also part of that is believed to be because it's during planting season. The legend of Johnny Appleseed lives on, a story of a man who wandered the land, planting apple trees, and spreading joy wherever he went. These are Interesting Things with J.C.